kind of traveling that really excites me is really walking and discovering gems. I'm not a big fan of going just about the same place that everybody goes for the mere fact that there's nothing new, there's nothing grand, there's nothing imaginative. There isn't much of a wow factor if it's already extremely well known. I'm in the city of Kanazawa, which is the capital of the Ishikawa prefecture, just around 300 kilometers south of Tokyo. What am I doing here? Why am I here? <laughs> well, I'm hoping through walking, I'm hoping through my wandering feet, I can come across something that is a little off the beaten path. And of course, in turn, I could share with you. Now, most travel vloggers tend to flock to areas that are fairly well known and areas that are fairly popular with tourists. I like to always be in discovery mode. I like to always be like a kid, keep it simple, keep it new, keep it interesting. So there are times I will choose a city and not knowing much about the city, I go there simply with my camera and my feet just to explore, just to discover. So I have to say this is probably one of those trips. I don't know anybody living in Kanazawa. I do not know a whole lot about Kanazawa. So with the exception of a few very popular places that is known by most people, I'm here really just to discover a few gems, right? So we shall see whether or not this is something that is gonna hold me. Let's see what gems can be discovered in Kanazawa Prefecture today. So this being day two in Kanazawa, I was really looking forward to the next destination. Kenloquin, am I saying that right? <laughs> Kenloquin is considered one of Japan's three most beautiful landscape gardens. It took nearly 200 years for construction of the grounds to be completed and was finally opened to the public in 1871. Now I've been to places all over that I'd consider fairly blissful but Kenlokuin takes it to a whole different level. Only the word magical can describe the feeling you get walking through here. But let me stop so you can observe exactly what I mean. After a blissful day of walking around and filming in this magical place, before I knew it, the sun had gone down and it was time to rest up for tomorrow's adventures here in Kanazawa. 